100% Chelsea, Chelsea 3, Everton 3. Now, I thought I was going to give you guys this review saying Chelsea 2, Everton 3, and I would have come on here absolutely fuming. However, our captain leader legend saves the day once again, <laughs> and um, I couldn't be happier. I mean, um, it feels like a win. I can now understand why Klopp went as mental as he did at Anfield when they got the third goal against Arsenal because any goal in the last moment of the game feels like a winner whether it's an equaliser or not um, so it's, it's a great feeling great buzz great atmosphere and it's, it's, it's good to have that feeling back temporarily at least um, but if I'm going to review the game and I'm going to go from the first half which was absolutely dreadful shocking boring you know, people love to call us boring and I love it when people call us boring because it means we're playing good and we're winning. Um, but we were actually boring and so were Everton. The game was just a dreadful, dreadful half. Um, second half came out a bit better, still a bit poor up until when Everton scored. They got those two goals and we just switched. We just clicked. And I don't know why it always takes us up until when we're in trouble to try and get ourselves out of it. Um, why don't we do that from minute one? You know, show that desire and passion. It showed today. We have heart. The players have it if they want to show it. It's there. It's still there. They just don't want to show it. I don't know why. They haven't been showing it up until today. And today was great. Second half, absolutely wonderful. Brilliant to see. Um, in terms of the lineup as well, I didn't agree with Matic starting. Turned out I was right um, because him alongside Mikel, I don't know what's what's going on with Matic. He's just not the same player of last year. Um, I didn't want him to start. I wanted Mikel to start and hold that line, but Loftus-Cheek to start alongside him. As I told you guys in the preview, I would have loved to see Loftus-Cheek play. He didn't play today. Why? I don't know. I can't answer that. I would have loved to see him, and I think he deserves to play after, after last week, um, but he didn't play. Kennedy came on, did great. Diego Costa scoring absolutely wonderful creating an assist for Fabregas and vice versa Fabregas um, getting a goal and providing an assist for Diego Costa it's good to see those two on the same playing field once again I hope they can keep it up because as we saw last year they can both create something special they haven't been doing it this year I don't know why it seems to affect the whole team but it's great to have seen it today um, but the last goal that Everton scored and it's the problem that we've had the whole game defensively we are a joke absolutely dreadful and um, it really really needs to get sorted out really needs to get sorted out Zuma who's done wonders for us and he's practically the next Marcel Desailly which is great his tackles coming from nowhere brilliant to see but that last goal along with Ivanovic dreadful absolutely dreadful just leaving all the space not moving with their men and then you have Funes and Lukaku just come out of nowhere, have the ball completed to themselves with an open goal. It's not what we should be seeing. It's really not. And it almost cost us. If it wasn't for John Terry, those two would have had the blame and we would have lost. So great to see John Terry. Goal was offside. I don't care. Scored a back heel. I don't care. Um, you know, he jumped into the stands and got booked. I don't care. Um, it's a free all draw. Feels like a win. Let's just save it a moment because it's been a long time since we actually had um, a good feeling around here and I, I want to take advantage of this while it lasts because next we have Arsenal and um, at the Emirates which ain't going to be easy but if there's any team on earth that can go to the Emirates and do something whether we're playing shockingly or not it's us so um, hopefully we can go there and, and show up and actually get a win that'd be great or a draw I wouldn't mind um, but there we are that's my review for today. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Who do you think played well? Who do you think didn't? Um, what do we need to work on? And what do you think we did well? Are you in accordance with me when I say we have the heart there if we want to show it? And it was only until today where we showed it. We really should be doing it more. Let me know in the comments. Um, subscribe to 100% Chelsea. Check out all the social media links in the description. It's been great. Your match review, free free. JT, Captain Lee, the legend. Eunice is signing off. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. 100% Chelsea, free all. I don't know what to say right now. Uh, uh, help me. <laughs> I don't know.